Well, uh, this is interesting news to wake up to. The Charlotte Hornets reportedly have signed Kelly Oubre Jr. What's up and welcome to the Sam Dracula channel, Charlotte Hornets fan channel. And last few days we've been looking on Twitter and just being like, all right, man, the Hornets have cap space. What are they going to do with it? Is it going to be marketing? Is it going to be Schroeder? Is it going to be Kelly Oubre? Well, it's Kelly Oubre. This, this signing makes so much sense for the Hornets. So much sense. And I don't want to spoil a future video, but when you look at this offseason, letting Devontae go, letting Malik go, you know, the, the Hornets get a first round pick for Devontae. Malik, nothing for him, but they drafted Book Knight 11th overall, right? That cap freedom allowed them to sign Kelly Oubre Jr., a guy who can play the three and the four, defend both those positions. He's not a he's not the shooter those guys are and were. He offers way more versatility and helps round out the roster. There's no longer in a strong imbalance in the guard, in the backcourt, in the front court. Kelly Oubre helps balance that out. This tweet, as you can see, 12.22 a.m. I was long asleep when this went out. And uh, this morning, I had to sift through all the you know, messy stuff in my, in my feed to see this. It's crazy. Messi's leaving Barcelona. That's a video for a different channel on a different day. Not here for that, but that's mad. Kelly Oubre coming to Charlotte, two-year deal, $26 million plus deal with the Hornets, sources tell the athletic and stadium. The Hornets going with him over marketing makes a lot of sense too because of the defense, but also marketing is a restricted free agent. There's a lot of, I mentioned marketing because there's a lot of that on Thursday on Twitter. And you have to play that offer sheet game with the Bulls. This is an out and out signing because Ubre was unrestricted. Another thing I like about this is that he's 25 years old. He'd be 26 in December. And so the Hornets at the same time added a young, younger player and a veteran, right? He's played in the league six years. So they, they struck that balance without breaking the bank. If things go well with Ubre in Charlotte, the Hornets snag themselves a bargain, okay? If things go poorly here in Charlotte, his contracts and age and ability makes him very tradable if it comes, if it comes down to that. I don't think it will. I look at him as the sixth or seventh man, depending on, you know, rotation. I think he could play crunch time for the Hornets. He's, a, he's what we needed as far as depth goes, as talent goes. This is the perfect acquisition because when we look at Gordon Hayward, right? It's Gordon Hayward. He's, a, he's an amazing player. When you look at his backup, you're looking at Jalen McDaniels, a guy I like a lot. I think McDaniels has a lot to offer, but he's not a six-year pro like Kelly Oubre. So Oubre can then slide into that Hayward backup role. And McDaniels can then be that ninth, 10th, 11th man off the bench where he can continue to develop in specific situations. Or you have his height, McDaniels, Oubre, and Hayward, they can roll out some interesting uh, lineups at the same time. The Hornets now, with this talented young man, Kelly Oubre, coming into town, I think can offer some interesting matchup challenges for the opposing team. They can offer some different looks. The Hornets are signing him from the Warriors where he played 55 games, 15 points per game, six rebounds, 1.3 assists. The efficiency isn't really what you love to see. 43%, 31%, 69% got him. It's not the best. He's not the shooter marketing is. So I think it's fair to like set the expectation now that he's not an excellent three point shooter. It's, uh, it's pretty clear where he likes to, where he's, where he's best at scoring. So what I would love from him in Charlotte is to work on this. If you're not gonna make them, don't take them, right? Work the game, work the mid range, and I think he can be an effective uh, bench guy or Hayward replacement when needed uh, to really like bolster this lineup. I don't follow the Warriors closely, so I just did some research about what the Warriors players and coaching staff were saying about Oubre when he was a member of the team. And Steve Kerr and Draymond Green raved about Kelly Oubre, which makes me feel a lot better. Because what name a better name two better co-signs than Draymond Green as a, like a as an NBA player and uh, Steve Kerr. And with Oubre, 
in that Warriors team, he got off to a rough start shooting wise and then realized his, his role in the squad and what, how he can best offer up his skill set. And he turned into a corner three taker where his percentage shot up. This is a uh, three point percentage shot up when he made that decision. So I hope that like that intelligence, that like self-awareness carries over here to Charlotte because LaMelo is going to find Kelly Oubre on the floor. Not that Steph Curry couldn't or didn't. I'm just saying LaMelo is going to find Kelly Oubre on the floor. When Oubre is not hanging out at the corner three spot, he's a willing and capable and excelling at uh, cutting to the rim, which again, is something LaMelo will thrive off of finding a cutting Kelly Oubre or a cutting Miles Bridges. Like this team added a new dynamic in an area of the floor, the small forward, just forward position that they didn't have last year. And it's going to be fire. It's going to be flames. From, from what I've read online, it seems like the Warriors wanted him back, but he didn't want to go back. Uh, he says he was put in a box last season with the Warriors. So here in Charlotte, I'm interested to see what an out of the box Kelly Oubre looks like. What do you think about the Kelly Oubre signing? Let me know in the comments, send me a message on Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Like, I think this is the perfect, not perfect. I don't want to overstate it. It's not the perfect signing for the Hornets. But when you look at the trade off, Devontae's gone, Malik Monk is gone. The Hornets lost two guards. They're bringing Ish Smith, they draft James Book Knight, all right? Not exactly a one for one book night, I think has a very high ceiling. I think Ish Smith is a veteran, a good NBA veteran player, but it's not the same as what we had before. But when you factor in Kelly Oubre, that is a net positive of an offseason thus far. When you look at the bigger picture, when you look at the entirety of the roster and how each piece fits in with each other. OK, and I'm I have confidence. I, I feel more confident now in this, the Hornets chances this season to make a playoff run because they have depth. That was last year's major problem. We know the team had talent. They had a lot of talent, but that talent was a little off balance when you look at the roster. And then when you looked at the, the squad rotation, Kelly Oubre, welcome to Charlotte. I'm excited to have you. I'm excited to watch. I'm excited to see what you can do here. I'm excited to see what the Hornets can do with you. And uh, playoffs, here we come. See you next time.